Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to talk about recently done changes to Storm Mesa. To be more accurate, I mean Storm Mesa 1 boss and in general waiting time for Storm Mesa. So there we have our formed team. Pam, uh, punking at the back. Snowzilla will be tanking the first damage, but Snowzilla is ranged. That means if I'm using all ranged heroes, end of the end, my pumpkin will be tanking the boss. That's the best spawn for the Storm Mesa 1 that I'll be today soloing. Well, if you feel lonely or if you abandoned your guild, if you don't like public Mesa, Mesa was supposed to be multiplayer game mode, but it doesn't matter, you can do it alone. <laughs> But better find a girlfriend or just a maybe friend. And as you can see, Snowzilla was taking the first damage. Now my pumpkin Duke is tanking the boss. So you need a strong, pretty strong pumpkin Duke. And pumpkin Duke does not have to be a tank, but it really makes easy to reach the maximum speed of. 200 milliseconds that's the attack rate of my heroes right now and all of them are hitting 35,000 damage so as you can see I'm killing boss under one minute then they just have to clear all the buildings and that's it oh there you go blue treasure chest let's see what's inside hmm Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, Elite Hero Card. And what's inside that Elite Hero Card? Only Assassin. Damn, I was expecting Shaman. But there's one more strategy that makes Storm Mesa 1 much faster. Well, instead of using Frost Switch, you can use also Shaman if your team is not really strong, but what about Spirit Match? Well, Spirit Match is going to make that Storm Mesa much faster because it will just cut the last part of the previous Storm Mesa, I mean destroying all the decoy buildings and heroes. So the only thing you have to do is kill the boss and as, as you will see right now in few seconds my Spirit Match will be just destroying everything in the background and it's going to save maybe 10 seconds of the Storm Mesa and make it much faster. So this is once more my pumpkin tanking without any debuff heroes like Shaman and Frost Witch. So my Spirit Match is proking all the time, has just destroyed all the decoy buildings. And now the only thing I have to do is kill that boss that is not stealing my heroes. That's a new future done to Storm Mesa 1. That boss is not able to steal my heroes and that makes it much easier because as good as, as I remember that was one second tune, it was just making Storm Mesa 1 much harder for the weak players and well now it's really easy just a easy peasy piece of cake Mesa one for the beginners for the newbies and there you go green hero card let's see what's inside there you go our lovely beautiful frost witch <laughs> I'm going to consume her into my bigger into her bigger sister 120 level frost switch let's see the talents I'm still more happy with revive frost switch it makes it gives me bigger chances of surviving during storm mesa 2 or 3 so thanks for watching and see us soon write me in comments your opinion